Hello, I'm Dan Williams, the Media Relations Director for the City of Cleveland, and this is the Bottom Line Upfront. In this week's edition, I will discuss what everyone should know about why Americans celebrate Veterans Day. First, a little bit of history about Veterans Day. World War I, known at the time as the Great War, officially ended when the Treaty of Versailles was signed on June 28, 1919, in the Palace of Versailles outside the town of Versailles, France. However, fighting ceased seven months earlier when an armistice or temporary cessation of hostilities between the Allied nations and Germany went into effect on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. For that reason, November 11th, 1918 is generally regarded as the end of the war to end all wars. Speaking of the phrase, war to end all wars, where do you suppose that originated? More on that in a minute. The original concept for the celebration of Veterans Day was for a day to observe with parades and public meetings and a brief suspension of business beginning at 11 a.m. The United States Congress officially recognized the end of the war when it passed a concurrent resolution on June 4, 1926. President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed November 11, 1919 as the first commemoration of Armistice Day with the following words. To us in America, the reflections of Armistice Day will be filled with solemn pride in the heroism of those who died in the country's service and with gratitude for the victory, both because of the thing from which it has freed us and because of the opportunity it has given America to show her sympathy with peace and justice in the councils of the nations. An act on May 13, 1938, made the 11th of November a legal holiday, a day to be dedicated to the cause of world peace and to be thereafter celebrated and known as Armistice Day. Armistice Day was primarily a day set aside to honor veterans of World War I, but in 1954, after World War II had required the greatest mobilization of soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen in the nation's history, after American forces had fought aggression in Korea, Congress, at the urging of veteran service organizations, amended the Act of 1938 by striking out the word armistice and inserted in its place the word veterans. With that approval of this legislation, on June 1, 1954, November 11th became a day to honor American veterans of all wars. The city of Cleveland will also celebrate Veterans Day this year with a ceremony and a parade. The ceremony and parade are designed to honor veterans and service members, paying homage to those who have given the ultimate sacrifice for freedom. The bottom line, November 11, 1918 is generally regarded as the end of the war to end all wars and is still today the day on which we honor veterans who have served in all wars. The act on May 13, 1938 made the 11th of November a legal holiday. With the approval of Public Law 380 on June 1, 1954, November 11th became the day to honor American veterans of all wars. Congress, at the urging of veterans service organizations, amended the Act of 1938 by striking out the word armistice and inserting in its place the word veterans. To answer the earlier question about where the phrase war to end all wars came from, during August 1914, Immediately after the outbreak of the war, British author and social commentator H.G. Wells published a number of articles in the London newspaper that subsequently appeared as a book entitled The War That Will End War. Wells blamed the Central Powers 
for the coming of the war and argued that only the defeat of German militarism could bring about an end to war. Wells used the shorter form, the war to end war, in the fourth year, 1918, where he noted that the phrase had got into circulation in the second half of 1914. In fact, it had become one of the most common catchphrases of the war. Last, don't forget Veterans Day this year. It is on Friday, November 11th. City Hall will celebrate the day with a parade and a program to honor all veterans. I'm Dan Williams, and this has been The Bottom Line Upfront.